friends my name is dr puru dhawan and today in this video i will tell you how we can control the level of creatinine in a patient of kidney failure when the kidney starts failing the lab waste material like creatinine and urea start increasing in our blood which is a matter of great concern to all kidney failure patient before moving to how we can control the level of these waste material it's very important for all kidney failure patient to understand where and how these waste material are produced in the body let's start with creatinine creatinine is a type of protein it's a type of waste material produced by muscles during muscle metabolism so if a kidney failure patient take large amount of protein what will happen this large amount of protein will convert it into creatinine during muscle metabolism number one thing if the patient suffer from fever what will happen because of fever the muscle metabolism increases and the level of creatinine also jumps number 2 thing if the patient do lots of heavy exercise excessive exercise like running jogging swimming what will happen because of increased muscle metabolism the production of the creatinine again increases if the patient lives in a very cold climate and because of shivering what will happen the level of creatinine again increases so in a patient of kidney failure we have to avoid all these things to cut down the production of creatinine one number one thing is intake of protein large amount of protein exercises fever and cold climate with this we can control the production of the creatinine in the body now this is the one thing which can be done in a kidney failure patient but this is not the right way we can increase the kidney output creatinine output from the kidney by following these method we can cut down the production of the creatinine in the body but now there is a one more method that can help the patient to control the level of creatinine and that is excretion of creatinine through urine for that purpose we have to increase the kidney's function because function of the kidney can be increased and the function of the kidneys are to filter out all the waste material from the body and as the function of the kidney increases the level of creatinine and urea decreases now the question arises can we increase the kidney's function the answer is yes we can increase the kidney's function now let me give you an example suppose one person has donated one kidney to another person now who has donated the kidney has only one kidney so the functioning of the kidney has been cut down by 50% but the level of creatinine and urea doesn't increase in that person who has donated one kidney to another now the question arises why because kidney has ability to increase in functions as a person has donated one kidney to another the single kidney has increased its function and performed the function of two that's why the level of creatinine and urea doesn't increase who has donated one kidney to the another patient that means kidneys has ability kidneys has super powers that can work in each and every patient of kidney failure for that purpose we have to go down deeper in the kidney failure and we have to understand why the kidney are failing because once the kidney are failing we have to work on that cause first suppose your kidney is failing because of high blood pressure and we don't work on your high blood pressure and your blood pressure remains high what will happen because of this high blood pressure it will cause further damage to the kidney and level of the kidney and urea will kept increasing so first step in each and every kidney failure patient should be removal of the cause whatever the cause of kidney failure in your case we have to rule it out we have to take it out so that the further damage to the kidney can be stopped now on the second step we can work on the kidney's function to increase the kidney function i advise all patient to go for kidney function restoration treatment it's a based on herbs it based on natural method that will help the kidney to restore its function and the function of the kidney are to filter out the waste material like extra amount of fluid creatinine urea sodium potassium from the blood for that we have to provide a suitable atmosphere to the kidney in which kidney can restore its function so we have removed the cause that was damaging the kidney now with the help of kidney function restoration treatment we have given that particular stimulus to the kidney that will help the nephrons to work better than before as the nephrons which are the functional unit of the kidney works better the creatinine clearance increases the urea clearance increases and the level of creatinine and urea drops in the blood now let's move to the urea urea is a type of nitrogenous waste produced by liver during food metabolism so when we eat something and when it goes to the liver for digestion liver break down that particular food material and produce urea during that process so we can't control the amount of urea in the body with diet because we have to eat something and whatever we eat it will convert it into the urea so we don't try to control the urea in the body of a kidney failure patient with the help of diet 
but when a patient of kidney failure take large amount of oily fried food or heavy protein like uh, fish chicken mutton what will happen liver has to work more to break down that particular food material heavy food product like fats and protein and that causes extra production of the urea in the body so we can cut down the extra production of urea in the body if we don't take all these kind of heavy food items like fats and protein but even if we cut down all these kind of food material from the diet the level of urea will kept increasing because there is something which is failing the kidney which is affecting the functioning of the kidney we have to work on that and when we work on kidney with the help of kidney function research treatment and as the function of the kidney increases the clearance of creatinine and urea increases simultaneously that's where the level of creatinine and urea will drop in your blood with the help of kidney function research treatment now i hope you understand how we can control the level of creatinine and urea in our blood there is two way either we have to cut down the extra production of creatinine and urea in the blood and the best way to control the level of creatinine and urea is to increase the kidney's function increase the power of kidney to excrete all these kind of waste material from the body and for that purpose kfrt is the best treatment so if you are suffering from any kind of kidney failure simply whatsapp your reports or the number given below once the doctor examine that report they will advise the kidney function restoration treatment accordingly and once you start your kidney function restoration treatment you have to perform two tests one the day that you started the kidney function restoration treatment and after the one month of that treatment and you can see the changes in your reports with a time span of one month only now this allow me to say goodbye see you in the next video till then bye bye namaskar